G'day, this is VK6XAM in the shack. Today I want to talk to you about a thing called contours. Now most of you know what a notch filter is but may not know what the difference is between a contour and a notch filter. Now the contour does actually work similar to a notch filter but it has some special features also. Let's go and have a look. So I've just tuned up on a beacon on the 6 meter band and I've got a fairly low signal level. I've got no preamps switched in at all and I've got about an S level of uh, 1. So I'll just lift the volume up we'll have a quick listen and see what it sounds like. So you can hear that there's a bit of hissing in the background, that's fine. It, it's all audible, you can understand what's going on, everything is good. Now if the signal was a lot worse than what it was at the moment, um, you'd be able to do a couple of things. Now first of all, I'm going to show you what the contour does do, that is very similar to a notch filter. So let's, uh, let's switch the contour on. Right, so I've switched it on and there's not much that you can hear going on at the moment until we start adjusting the contour. Now watch what's going to happen. We've reduced that audio level. So we've actually dropped off some of the audio by doing that. Okay, so now we're going to take the contour back off. As you can hear, the audio's come back up. Now, if I was to do this and go into the menu, and there is an adjustment here called contour level. That's set at minus 12 by default. So let's go in there and change it. What we can do, and you may not be aware of, is you can actually go in the other direction. So we'll go to plus 12. We'll set that. And now, if we press the contour button, have a listen to the audio. That's just now lifted the audio level. So what you can do with the contour is you can actually increase there we go, so at 900 hertz there we're getting maximum audio. So I'll just show you again a bit of a close-up of the screen here and if we switch the contour on There goes the increase in audio level. If we change the frequency of the contour, it, it reduces. Now we'll find the actual signal. Yeah, about 800 hertz is, is roughly where it needs to be. Um, if you can imagine, the contour is very, very similar to a graphic equaliser on a, on a stereo system. Uh, that operates in pretty much the same kind of way where you can either boost or reduce the audio signal. Okay, uh, now if we have a look at the notch filter, we'll just put the volume back up. Okay, so contour off and we're going to bring the notch filter in and adjust that down to 800 hertz. We should have the audio drop away. Okay, so the, the notch filter tends to take away a considerable amount of, of audio and it's, it's very narrow as compared to the contour which has a fairly wide bandwidth. So we'll take the notch filter back off uh, as soon as we get a signal back. Okay, so that time it was actually cancelling it out a fair bit. We can barely hear it with the notch filter on. And once again, show you the contour where it's going to actually boost. It's actually going to boost the audio. And back off again. There we go. 
Well, there you go. Hopefully, the demonstration helped you work out the difference between what a notch filter does and also what the contour can do for you. Um, also, good luck on the, your next DX, and hopefully you can utilise this uh, tip and uh, help you uh, in extracting that little bit extra audio uh, on that uh, very faint uh, DX contact. Anyway, 7.3 from VK6XAM.